Hey there, everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. And uh, what I'm doing today is basically grabbing a couple of websites that do the pre fill score sheets and sharing those. Now, this is a pre fill score sheet website called Baseball Sim Research that um, asks you to donate uh, if you use the site and so on, and it leaves it up to you. It's a donation of $1.99 is recommended, I think, and so on. Um, that's what I see there. Donate $1.99 for downloading the 2019 As Play lineups. And of course, you can always do more. I, when I use this, I've used it a few times. I've kind of donated about a $20 bill just because there's a lot of times I use it for like one quick thing and, and then I don't donate. But when I decide, Hey, I'm going to use it this week, the whole week, then I kind of chip in a little bit. So I keep things running up and running. Now, um, this is, uh, to me, I don't use it as much as digidugout.com. It's because I don't find it as user-friendly, and I'll show you why. You can look at my other video about digidugout.com. It's super-duper easy to use. This one's a little bit more complicated. I'm playing the 1971 Mets over here on the upper left. You can see as played score sheets. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to look for 1971. All right, so I'm going to click on that, and it's going to take, it's going to open up a zip down at the bottom of the page and then open when done so I gotta wait for that that's the first thing that the, uh, happens right I gotta have to kind of unzip it let's see open when done let's see right, hold on let's go back to the, okay now it's done so we can open it and this is what you're gonna get you can get some files right 1971 as played AL 1971 as played NL so let's go to the as played NL. There's a whole bunch of different uh, steps. Right now with Digi Dugout, I would have already printed out my score sheet. This is a whole different type of system. I think it's a little bit uh, dated. Now, this is the issue, right? I'm going to get all my NL score sheets, but I don't get them by team. So I got to go through all the score sheets to find the Mets right here. The Mets play the Expos. See? Dodgers played the Astros, and then it was on Tuesday, April 6, 1971, Mets played the Expos. So let's say I wanted, I need the tomorrow's game. Well, now i got to start scrolling down. Phillies and Pittsburgh, Giants and Padres. This is like a real pain in the butt. This is why I don't use it. Now, probably this is probably, from, in, in, from my taste, the one of the top um, – score sheets available i really like the way it's distributed and it's uh it's kind of laid out i really like that about it uh, the boxes are pretty big and it allows you space to write in there and so on it doesn't give you a lot of space in here for all the stats which i never use anyway so this is fine this is probably one of the top three score sheets that i like but unfortunately it's so hard to get to um i don't i don't use it that much so, and as you see, as you can see, uh, I shared why, right? Because now let's say I want to play the next game the Mets play. Well, let's find that. Phillies to Pittsburgh, Giants to Padres, Cardinals to Cubs, Braves to Reds, Dodgers to Astros, Giants to pa at Padres, to Cardinals at Cubs, Cubs at Astros. Already on the 8th, Expos at Mets on the 8th. There's another game, Expos at Mets. All right, and this one's going to be Steve Renko versus Gary Gentry. And I want to find the next game. And i got to go through all the games again and on and on and on. So that's one of the reasons I don't use this. But that's not to say this website doesn't have value because it has a lot of other stuff here. Um, it has multi-team players for every season. So let's say I want to find who are the multi-team players, although I use Replay Baseball PC game, and that keeps the rosters for me. So if I so here are the multi-team players all listed for you in 1971. Now the only thing it doesn't give me the dates. So it tells me he played with Oakland and he played with the Yankees, but it doesn't give me dates. So that would be a problem if I'm trying to like switch him. If I'm replaying, I want to switch him on the right day. I don't see where that gives dates. And and you know, so you may have to correct me on this and say, oh, you didn't go here. That's yeah, this is, I'm not an expert at this website, but I know there's a lot of valuable stuff here to use. 
So let's go back and let's see what else we can find. So uh, here's a replay guide. So this will give you a 71 replay guide. Let's see what that says. And this is going to tell you all about the season, I guess. As, as played schedules. Um, also included with the guide is another PDF player appearance grids for the season. Pinch hitter details, pinch runner details, and relief pitcher details. So this is really valuable if you want to kind of replay as played season. So here's the here's the schedule, right? The 71A schedule. So this would I get? Uh, as, I'm sorry, as played schedule. So here it is, Monday, April 5th, and Tuesday you get uh, Montreal at New York. And then the 8th, again, they switch, and it's oh, it's Montreal and New York again. They didn't play the 7th. I think it was rained out or snowed out or something. Oh, no, they did play the 7th. I don't know that they actually played that game because this is the actual schedule. I don't know that they played this game right here. So, but anyway, <coughs> excuse me. So let's see what else this gives you. So this is going to give you a day-by-day as-played schedule. All right. In a format that I guess it's okay. I mean, this is if you want to replay the whole season league. I would never do that. I would just play like one team. So I'm probably missing something down at the bottom or maybe not. I don't know. I scroll down a ways. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, here it gives you the players who showed up. Um, for example, Saturday, April 17th, Boston. Oh, now it gives you some. Wait a second. All right, it gives you their, um, re their records, their stats until 1971. And let me go back here. The stats for every player up till 1971. Now here is the, the this is the uh, players who played in each game. So Friday the 10th, 19, uh, uh, September 10th, 1971, Gaylord Perry, Atlanta, Phil Negro. Then for the San Francisco National, you had the lineup, and then you have the lineup for the Atlanta Braves right here. And then so it does lineups per day in not a real user-friendly format, if you ask me. It's kind of confusing. Here you have all the stats. I mean, this is a lot of information. It's just, it's really kind of clunky to get to and to use. It, again, I think it's like a little bit more, an older kind of um, website. Not that it doesn't have value. It's just, uh, okay, so this goes player by player and how many times he appeared. So John Bateman, I know he was a catcher. Overall pinch hitter, four games, catcher. Uh, early substitutions, a couple of different late substitutions. Huh. So here you have information on all the players, which I would never get into that that'd be too crazy for me let's see so you keep going so this is definitely a site with a lot of information if this works for you this sort of thing is something you need and you can deal with uh that's great i just this is too much on me personally i just kind of want to roll the games and be on the field watching the excitement I want to get into the stats that deeply. Early substitutions, six for Zachary. Pinch runner, one time. Late substitutions, five. Tight, two. Close, three. So he came into, I guess he came into two tight games. He came into close three times. That's probably what that means, but I'm not totally sure. He pinch ran a bunch of times as well. Um, let's see, what else can we get to? I'm trying to understand the abbreviations a little bit. So anyway, let's go back again and see what else we can find on this site. Hyperfast Baseball, I have no idea what that is. This is the player appearance grids. 
Let's see what that looks like. For 71 player appearance grids. Ah, okay. Uh, chart. This is so. This is when the players appeared. Like, let's go. Let me go to Mets. Uh, let's see if I can find the Mets here. So that's the Braves. All the players. Oh, this is goes through the Braves. Okay, so then I got to find the Mets. I got to scroll down. That's going to go through the whole season. Then Red Sox, the Angels. Let's find the Mets somewhere. Milwaukee Brewers. I know that AG misses a lot of the month of July, of June with the Mets with an injury. So I want to see if that's reflected here. So I'm looking for the Mets. I know them a little bit better. Twins. New, I guess the New York teams would be next after the M. It would be the New York teams. So this, I mean, this site definitely offers you a ton of great information. If you need that for your replay, here are the Yankees. Let's go down to the Mets and let's look at uh, Tommy Agee because I know he missed a lot of June. I just, I'm replaying June and he's missed almost a whole month of June. But now he's back in my lineup. So he must have had an injury. So, okay, Tommy Agee right here. So this is April, right? 4 6, 4 8, 4 10. It tells you the games he played. This would be still April. Now that's May. May. And this is, would be June. Tommy Agee should be missing. Wait, June starts over here. So let's see. Tommy Agee, you see? Blank, 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 blank. Because he starts missing games in June. So let's go to the rest of June. All blank. See that? He doesn't come back till June 26th. And, and he plays center field. And I think they move into right field in that game. And then from that point on, I think he, he plays, right? Yep. He starts playing every day again. See, in center field. I, I really don't know what the one or the one or the three means. I'm not totally sure what that means. Over here they have the center field forward slash three. I'm not totally sure what that means. Anyway, so it's definitely uh, accurate and it definitely offers you lots of data for sure that you may or may not need. The only one I haven't looked at so far is this one here, hyper fast baseball. I have no idea what that means or what that is. Uh, and you gotta, I guess you got to read all about how, how, how you would use that. I don't really know how you'd use that. So anyway, that's it. So this is uh, my second video on websites that you can use to uh, print uh, pre-filled score sheets for your, your Dice Baseball replays. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, signing out.